Thank you. 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 Yeah, Bishop, all good to go. Check on Vonda, she's not getting in. Okay. Yeah, you're live right now. What of us? Not yet, no. But you're live right now. Well, good night, everybody. What a joy it is to be able to be with you tonight, to join in for this time of prayer. There are some minor glitches, minor glitches. We're not gonna be sweating the small stuff that uh, is occurring at this moment in time, but they are going to be sorted out ASAP. We want to give God honor. We want to give him the praise that we have the ability to be on of this global network of apostles and prophets and that the time has been designated and dedicated to prayer. Men ought always to pray and not to refrain from praying, not to cave in. Now, I know there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of serious pressure that is being applied on the people of God all over the world. Uh, just last week, about 300 churches were burnt in a certain nation that I will not name at the moment. And then in another country, not very far from there, they have been burning churches using all kinds of excuses that, you know, the people of God blaspheme their religion or blaspheme their religious book or whatever, whatever. And so there's a very strong anti-Christian spirit that is pervasive across the globe. It is not like something that's done in a corner. These are matters that we need to pray about because persecution is coming to a village near you. If not to a village near you, it's coming to a city near you. And so we have got to know how to conduct ourselves and how to conduct our business. And if there's one thing that we need to do apart from praying, fasting, and studying that word, is gathering and assembling ourselves to pray some red hot devil chasing prayers. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Can anybody hear me? Yep. All right, I'm going to begin. And when the others join me, then they can join, they can join in. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our soon coming King, we come to you tonight praying that every organized strategy of the hosts of the demonic world that is against our lives and against our ministry shall be rendered to nothing 
shall be rendered to nothing, shall be rendered to nothing in the name of Jesus. Every organized strategy of the host of the demonic world against the lives of your people, against the kingdom of God, hey, 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 shall be rendered to nothing, shall be nullified, shall be made null and void, absent of power, unable to do its pernicious task to the glory of God we are praying in the name of Jesus. We command that all demonic spirits that try to tr be transformed into our life through demonic contact, that they shall be withdrawn and cast into the fire. All demonic spirits that are trying to transform themselves into our life, that are trying to find ways, that are trying to find openings, that are trying to find doors of entry, that are trying to find entry points, that they shall be torn back and cast into the sea and all their contracts shall be withdrawn. I speak for a withdrawing of satanic contracts against churches, against houses of God, against the kingdom of God, to the glory of God. I pray that every demonic influence that is targeted at destroying our vision, targeted at destroying our dream, targeted at destroying our ministry, targeted at destroying our health, targeted at destroying our finances, that they shall receive total disappointment. I decree and declare that the Lord shall disappoint the council of Ahithophel, that the Lord shall disappoint the council of Absalom. Hey, that the Lord shall disappoint all of the well laid plans, tricks, and schemes and strategic works of the demonic world in the name of Jesus. Let every demonic trap that is set against our lives. Let them be shattered to pieces, shattered to pieces, broken into a trillion pieces that they cannot be reassembled again. Oh yes, all satanic activity against our calling shall receive disgrace, shall receive commotion, shall receive destruction, shall not be able to fulfill their purpose in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. I declare that all partners in demonic businesses that are militating against our lives, that they shall receive commotion and that they shall be disorganized. Disorganize the forces of darkness. Disorganize the covens of hell. Disorganize the fasting and prayer meetings that the satanic world has called and have come to different places where the house of God meets to do their chants and to release their curses, their hexes, their vexes, their pieces, and their spells. I rise up in apostolic authority and reverse them all in the name of Jesus. I reverse every last one of them. And I say out loud, return, go back to the sender, go back to who sent you. Oh yes, let our lives and ministry and prayer become extremely dangerous for the kingdom of darkness. Let us become too hot to handle. Let the fire of God burn so bright and burn so hot that Satan cannot come around. Let the holiness standard that God requires of his people be so lived that the satanic world has no excuse and no foothold that will become a stronghold. Let our life and ministry and prayer become extremely dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. Let our lives, our ministry, and our prayer cause miracles to erupt wherever we go. Let our ministry, our lives, and our prayer cause healings to come to the sick and deliverance to those that are oppressed. Give us the anointing to break the back of satanic possession. Let the oppressed go free. Let them go free. Let them go free. Let them go free. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Oh, yeah. All demonic organized seductive appearances to pull us down shall be rendered null and void. All of the organized, seductive appearances, all of the smut, all of the nakedness and half nakedness, the picture sure the pornographic material that floods the, the airwaves and presents itself before our eyes in an attempt to pull us into that world. We make a declaration tonight that our eye gate and our ear gate shall not be garbage dumps for the satanic world. But whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are of good report, 
that if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, that we shall think on these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Show us your immeasurable forgiveness. Let mercy find us and stay with us. Do not allow us to be terminated by the satanic assignment on our life, but let us accomplish the assignment that God has placed for us. My Lord and my God, raise up intercessors to stand in the gap for us. Raise up intercessors to stand in the gap for the work of our hands. Yes. Raise up intercessors to stand in the gap for our ministry. Yes. Raise up intercessors to stand in the gap for the task that you have assigned us to do and that we have started off doing. And for a moment, it went well. And then all of a sudden, as we would say down here, all hell broke loose. But we declare that the breaking loose of hell shall not break loose what you've called us to do. Breaking loose of hell shall not stop what you've called us to do. Shall not invade what you've called us to do. Shall not diminish what you've called us to do. Shall not distract from what you've called us to do in the name of Jesus Christ. We reject heaviness and regrets in the name of Jesus. We reject heaviness, the spirit of heaviness. We reject the spirit of heaviness that wants to come to us and drag us into the funk of depression. We declare that we are recipients of the joy of the Lord and that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We will not have the spirit of heaviness. We put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. We lift up our voice to God. We pray in the spirit and in the understanding and we magnify the Lord. And we say to others, come magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together for we sought the Lord and he heard us and has delivered us from all our fears. And the Lord will help us so every divine assignment that he has given us to do shall not be transferred to another person, but we shall do it and do it well. We shall do it and do it with excellence. We shall do it and do it with anointing. We shall do it and do it with fire. We yes. shall do it, and do it with thunder. Yes. We shall do it and do it with lightning. We shall do it and do it biblically. We shall do it and do it with a severe anointing that hell cannot gainsay and hell cannot stop. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. the Son of the living God. We give God the glory that all of the organized forces of darkness against our lives shall receive commotion, shall yes. receive lightning, shall receive thunder, shall receive the slap of the Lord, shall receive the blood of Jesus in their faces. We douse them with the blood of Jesus and we hurl praise bombs into their coven. We hurl praise bombs into their meeting. We hurl praise bombs into their fasting and prayer groups. We hurl praise bombs into all of the assignments that they have been working on in their attempt to diminish the work of our hands. We declare that all demonic organized networks against our spiritual and physical ambition shall be put to naught and shall be put to shame. We command that demonic mirrors and monitoring gadgets against our spiritual life, that they shall crack in pieces and they shall be unable to trace us. They shall be unable to track us. They shall be unable to find us, that we will become invisible to the powers of darkness, to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. I'm going to stop here for a while. I noticed that some of the people that were to join from scratch, I know we had some technical difficulties. Ain't nothing but a thing. We ain't scared of you, devil. We shall go forward. We shall go forth. Apostle, you ready? Yes. You ready to rumble 12 rounds? Oh, yes. <laughs> to God be the glory. We had, we had made a plan that she was going to be starting, and then uh, the, the, the link doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it's the wrong one. I don't know what happened tonight, but we are not making excuses. We are going ahead in our prayer. And so take over from here and run your, your link. Run your... Go ahead. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Let's continue to pray. How about that? Hallelujah. Uh, you know, Jesus set an example of prayer for us. He set a perfect example of prayer for us. Times he went into the mountains. He made, made his business to go away from the masses and pray. And so tonight, we want to get ourselves back into prayer. 
I got a word from the Lord and the Lord said to me to tell my people to get back into prayer, get back on their knees, build, rebuild your personal altars, strengthen the foundation of prayer in your lives and ensure that your prayer life is robust and founded and strong because what is to come in this world those of us and those who are not strong or does or do not have a, a strong prayer life will not survive and i tickle with god about this because i said well lord this is a strong statement to say that people will not survive he said tell my people exactly that when if your prayer life is not strong enough to withstand what is coming globally you will not survive so i've said what the lord wanted me to say amen and so we are going into prayer tonight and and i pray tonight that that your prayer life will be ignited right here right now in the name of jesus it we it would be strengthened and reinforced and for those of you who have gone into prayerlessness and have slipped into that place may god light the fire again may the fire of prayer come back into your life so let's pray come on now let's pray father i return <clears throat> I return to diligent prayers. I return to fervent prayers. I return to consistent prayers. I return to disciplined prayers. I refuse to treat my prayer time as just another activity. I repent for my lack of prayer. I repent for allowing my prayer altar to grow silent. I repent for allowing my set hours of prayer to slip. I shift from the mindset of excuses. I shift shift from the mindset of blaming the devil and blaming my, my lack of prayer on other things and people. It's me, oh God, it's time. We're repenting for prayerlessness. We're repenting for that thing that has we have allowed to happen in our lives. And so we say, Lord, it's me, it's me. I do not pray when I don't want to pray. I do not pray because I make excuses. I confess that my job does not stop me from praying. How early I wake up does not stop me from praying. It's me. I repent today. No more excuses. I let it slip. I made excuses and I let prayer go from my life. I put out the fire of prayer on my altar and I made it go dark. Tonight, I pray for strength. Come on, are we praying out there? Come on now. I pray for strength to return to prayer. Let my prayers be fervent and consistent again, oh God. A lot of times I speak to people and I ask them, how was your prayer time? They said, oh, you know, it's really lacking. So many Christians I've spoken to and they talk and, and they say their prayer life is not where it's supposed to be. It's time for the fire to be ignited again. It's time for the fire to burn again. In the name of Jesus, I silence the voice of darkness right now. Ah, I make mute the voice of lies and condemnation and accusations and that is speaking against my mind right now. Many times when we get into that place of prayerlessness, when we try to reignite the fire, the enemy comes to us and says, you will not be heard. God will not hear your prayer. You have sinned and he condemns us. And, and, and it makes it hard for us to come back to God because the enemy keeps saying, you know, you have sinned and God will not hear your prayer because you've lost your fire, because you're, uh, uh, um, God is angry with you because you, are, you will not pray. But that is a lie from the pit of hell. That is a lie from the pit of hell. When it's time, when, 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 when we return to God, he receives us back and he covers us and he, uh, he, he washes us with his blood 
and he brings us back into that place of strength again. And so we curse the works of darkness that is speaking to our minds and telling us that God will not hear our prayers. Let the blood of Jesus saturate my mind and my spirit right now. Deliver me from the poison of prayerlessness that has gripped my mouth, ah, my will, and my heart. Restore me again to fervent prayer. Restore my confidence in you, O Lord. Restore my inner strength with power from on high. Help me to, rest uh, to restore my personal altar of prayer and my family altar of prayer right now. For your word says, oh God, that if I confess my sins, you are faithful and just to forgive my sins and purify me from all unrighteousness. So I stand before you tonight, forgiven. I stand before you ready to ignite my prayer altar. I stand before you ready to receive strength, to receive uh, uh, the fire of your Holy Spirit again. I stand before you with my hands uplifted, trusting you that, oh God, that the, the, the times of prayer that I have, oh God, that I would be able to get back to that place, not, not next week, but now, that the fire would be reignited now in my life. For you said in your word that your spirit, that the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, helps us. And I thank you, oh God, because your Holy Spirit is helping me right now. All of you who are in prayer paralysis, all of you who, who are, 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 are prayerless and you haven't prayed for a while, uh, this is the time when you, 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 you have to grab a hold of the, of the presence of God. You have to grab, grab a hold of God and begin to fight for that time of prayer. If you don't contend for it, it will never come back to you and it will never come back in the power that it used to, uh, to be before. And so we receive strength in the name of Jesus. We receive the strength of the Holy Spirit right now to help us in this time for he is called a helper. And if you put your trust in the Lord, he will help you to get back to that place. It is not, nobody else can't help you with praying because praying is something that each of us must do for ourselves. Hallelujah. And so I receive boldness in the name of Jesus. According to your word, you said it in Hebrews chapter four, uh, four verse 15 and 16, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness, but was in all points tempted as we were yet without sin. And so it says, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of trouble. I come boldly according to your word in prayer tonight. I receive confidence to pray. I throw off the cloak of timidity. I come boldly before your throne and I make my request to you. I come standing on the foundation of your word and the shed blood of Jesus Christ. I come unafraid, unashamed and free from condemnation. In Jesus' name, restore me, O oh God. Restore the fire that I once had. Restore your presence in my life. Come back into my life. I open the doors, O oh God, for you to pour out your spirit upon me. Oh God, baptize me again. Baptize me afresh in your fire. In the name of Jesus, touch my, my, my body. Touch my mind, touch my spirit, oh God, and cause me, oh God, to respond to the call of your spirit. Many of you should be interceding, your intercessors, you're called to be intercessors, but you have fallen asleep, both physically and spiritually. In the name of Jesus, we pray tonight that every intercessor that is listening and is part of this prayer time tonight, that they will be reignited in the name of Jesus. Those who have gone slack, the fire have gone, has gone out on their altars. 
I pray tonight, oh God, that you would reignite them, that you will cause your fire to burn bright again in Jesus' mighty name. We come before you and we say, Lord, wash us in your blood. Remove this thing that is, uh, that is upon us. Remove this thing that is upon your people where they cannot move their mouths, they cannot move their lips, they cannot move, move their bodies, they cannot bring themselves into position of prayer. Tonight we throw off that cloak. Tonight we break free from that cage in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody just give God praise. Just begin to worship him because we're moving in to another section of prayer. We're moving into a, a different uh, to pray concerning something else, but just begin to give God praise. Just begin to encourage his presence. Just thank him for the fire coming back into your life. Thank him for the fire being reignited on your altar. Thank, thank the Lord for his presence coming back into your life. Some of you have have not prayed for so long that Ichabod has stepped in the presence of God. You're not feeling the presence of God anymore because you have not been in communication with God. But tonight we pray that when you leave this prayer time, when it's over, that that fire would be ignited that in the next 24 hours, God will restore you to that place of fervent prayer in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want to continue to pray for people who uh, you know your purpose. Uh, you know your purpose and you know the purpose that God has called your family to, but you're getting a fight from the enemy to fulfill your purpose. You have done all the all that you needed you need to do. You are prepared, you are studied, you have done the work, you've spent your money, you've done everything, but something seemed to be holding back your progress. And we want to pray against that thing. Tonight I'm praying that your hulk will come out. Tonight we're gonna smash the works of darkness. Mm -hmm. We are going to smash that spirit and we are going to arise and fulfill the purpose in the time that God has allotted for us to fulfill our purpose. All of us who have missed time and have lost time, we are praying that that will be restored in the name of Jesus. For in Psalms chapter 31, verse 15 and 18, it says, my, uh, fifth, verse 15, my times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. All right, let's pray. I cancel my name and my family name and ministry. Those of you who are pastors and apostles and leaders in the body of Christ. I cancel my name and my family name and ministry from the debt registers of hell. We will not die spiritually, nor will we receive untimely debts, uh, untimely debt in our life. Let debt registers with our name on names on it be burnt to ashes with the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Let every weapon of destruction fashioned against me, fashioned against my purpose, fashioned against my family be destroyed by the fire of the, of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Release your fire, oh God, to fight for us in every area of our lives. Make it, a, 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 oh God, a, a something, oh God, that will continue throughout our lives, that your fire will go before us, oh God, and contend for our purpose, contend for our destiny, contend for our families in the name of Jesus. Every evil gathering against me, both in the realm of the spirit, oh God, and in, in the natural realm, oh God, let it be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let them be scattered. Let confusion come to every gathering, every evil gathering, every e evil gathering, whether to talk or to do against me. Let them be defeated by the thunder of the living God in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your fire destroy every evil list with my name 
on it and the name of my family. I command all failures in my past to be converted to success and miracles in Jesus' name. I gotta say that again. I command all failures in my past to be converted to success and miracles in the name of Jesus. Let the former rain the latter rain, and the latter rain of your blessings pour down upon me and my family right now. Let all the failure mechanisms of the enemy designed against my success be frustrated in the name of Jesus. I receive power from on high and I paralyze all the powers of darkness that are hindering my progress, hindering my purpose, hindering me from flourishing in the things that God has called me to, hindering the works of my hands and that of my family. In the name of Jesus, I smash and destroy all powers, diverting my blessings in the name of Jesus, rerouting my blessings in Jesus' name. I paralyze the activities of household wickedness over my life in the name of Jesus. Every inspiration of witchcraft in my family be destroyed in Jesus name. The blood of Jesus blots out every evil mark of witchcraft in my life in the name of Jesus. Every garment put upon me by witchcraft to cover or cap my purpose and my destiny and that of my family be torn to pieces now in the name of Jesus. Angels of God begin to pursue my household enemies. Let their ways be darkened and slippery according to your word in the name of Jesus. Lord, confuse them and turn them against themselves. Let them ambush each other and demolish their own houses. I break every evil unconscious agreement with household enemies concerning my purpose, my destiny, and my miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let your blood cover us. Let your blood wipe away and destroy every covenant in Jesus' name and every single mark of, of, of the covenant in Jesus' name, all of the consequences laid out by, by the dark world, that if the covenants are broken, that this, this, this should be enacted upon us. We stand upon the word of God that the covenant that Jesus has established through his death and his resurrection and the shedding of his blood wipes away, exonerates us from the penalties of every covenant that we have made with the enemy. We break ties with the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. We break off family covenants right now in the name of Jesus. And we claim the protection and the prosperity of the living God. We declare that there shall be no backlash. There shall be no debts. There shall be no punishment for breaking these covenants because we have a right to break them because now we are part of the kingdom of God. Only the covenant that we have made with Jesus Christ stands. Every other covenant is null and void in the name of Jesus. Oh, Je Jehovah G Gabor, drag all the household wickedness to the Dead Sea and bury them there in Jesus' name. I refuse to follow the evil patterns of my household enemies. I break out from the cage, the cage of household wickedness in the name of Jesus. I command all my blessing mm -hmm. and potentials buried by wicked household enemies to be exhumed in the name of Jesus. Let my blessings be excavated, come alive, wake up and come to me in the name of Jesus. All demonic powers against my household, perpetuating wickedness in my life, wither and perish tonight in the name of Jesus. Your, you household enemies, that have vowed to pin me down in the place of pain and suffering. Loose me 
and die now by the fire and the thunder of the living God. Everything that was buried with our names on it, uh, everything that uh, that Obia was worked uh, uh, in and and worked for to bring us into darkness, to bring uh, to to squish our purpose, to squeeze us, to keep us from fulfilling our purpose, that of the purpose, our personal purpose and that of our family. We, we smash it and destroy it now in the name of Jesus. We command every single thing that is buried, what we know about and what we don't know about to catch fire now, catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Everything buried around our, our family houses, buried, things that were buried 50 years ago, 60 years ago, covenants that were made. We command them to catch fire now, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Be smashed, be destroyed, be made null and void in Jesus' name. We paralyze the powers of darkness coming against us from those things that are buried in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I overcome all household wickedness. I reclaim my wealth from the evil grip of household wickedness uh, now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze now every power raging war of opposition against my destiny in the name of Jesus. Burn in the fire of God all yokes of delay in, ma in, in marriages, in my family, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be scattered now by brimstone and the thunder and the plagues of the living God. You tree of poverty planted in my family root, uh, plant, planted in my family root and in the foundation of my bloodline by the fire of, of the Holy Ghost, dry up and wither away and die in the name of Jesus. I gotta say that again. You tree of poverty planted in my family root and in the foundation of my bloodline by the fire of the Holy Ghost, dry up, dry up, dry up and wither away and die in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it does not matter if I deserve it or if we deserve it or not. We stand forgiven through the blood of Jesus. I stand justified. I stand cleared and freed from the penalties of my family sins and transgressions. I receive immeasurable favor from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Every blessing God has attributed to me in this, in this year will not pass me by in the name of Jesus. My blessings will not be transferred to my neighbor or my, de my, my destiny diverted by or to my destiny killers in the name of Jesus. Father, this grace, every power that is out to thwart your program and purpose for my life. Uh, let every step I take lead to outstanding, overwhelming success in Jesus' name. I declare that I shall prevail with man and with God in every area of my life. Uh, let every habitation of infirmity in my life break into pieces in the name of Jesus, be demolished right now, be blown to smithereens in the name of Jesus. Let uncommon favor be mine. I receive uncommon blessings of God. I receive the uncommon blessings of the, of the Lord in all my requests, in all my applications, in all my prayers, in all my appearances, uh, my purpose, in all my businesses, in all my relationships, in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, the favor of God will make me an irresistible attraction and I will be acceptable and honored in the name of Jesus, I say that again, I declare 
everywhere I go and you say it, come on now, say it. I declare that everywhere I go, the favor of God will make me an irresistible attraction and I will be acceptable and honored in the name of Jesus. This was the blessing that was on Esther, was on Joseph, was on Daniel, whatever and whoever laid eyes on them, they favored them. And it was just as I said, let the power of God to prosper throughout the days of my life, the power of God to prosper me throughout the days of my life, fall upon me like heavy rain in the name of Jesus. Let the rains of your blessing soak and saturate my life. Let the waters of your blessing rise until I swim in the rivers of your favor in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for your your quick answers to my prayer of uh, for favor. I receive all of what I prayed for right now in the name of Jesus. Um, let every spirit that seeks to hinder the answer to my prayer receive the thunder and the fire eh, in the name of Jesus of the living God. Break them, destroy them, and let my angels bring the answers to my prayers now in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise because we know, oh God, that you hear us when we pray in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Over to you, Apostle. Hey! Hallelujah. 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 We add the omega to those prayers. We say, so let it be. We say, it is so. We add the finishing. We yes. come in agreement with them. Yes. And decree that we shall be recipients of answers that shall come in a hurry. They shall come at yes. rough speed. Yes. They shall come ASAP. They shall come sooner than at once and quicker than immediately. Yes. We make a declaration that every evil thing that was done against us yes. between the hours of 12 p.m. and mm. 3 a.m. is now nullified. Everything that was ever done against us, reaching back to the generations and reaching forward, that anything, everything that was said, buried, done against us between the hours of 12 p.m. and the hours of 3 a.m., they are now null and void. Yes. Their power has been stripped. For the Lord has given us the power to root out, to pluck up, to tear down, and then to lay the foundation and to build. We know who we are. We know the authority that we carry. We know the power that we carry. We declare that these curses, jinxes, vexes, hexes, spells, incantations, negative words, and evil wishes that have been said concerning us between the hour of 12 p.m. and 3 a.m., that we now take a hold of them and we root them out. We unplug them. We tear away all the evil arrows from out of our hearts, from out of our heads, from out of our neck, from out of our shoulders, from out of our stomachs, from out of our legs, from out of our thighs, from out of our feet, from out of our toes, from out of our fingers, from out of our shoulders, from out of our elbows. We command them to come out, come out, come out, come out in the name of Jesus. Every evil arrow, we snatch them and drag them out from the places that they have lodged themselves for years and for decades. Come out now in the name of Jesus. We declare the spirit of freedom and deliverance is coming through the airwaves into the lives of the people where they sit, where they lie, where they stand, where they are moving, and that God's anointing is destroying the yoke of the satanic world in the name of Jesus. We further declare that between the hours of 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., that anything that was said, any evil wish, any incantation, any ploy, any plot, any demonic satanic strategy, any words that were spoken, anything that was chanted, anything that was sung, anything that was released, anything that was thrown, anything that was buried, we come against all of the works of the diabolic world and we render them ineffective, inoperative, null and void. They can no longer operate. We strip them of their strength. We strip them of their sting. We strip them of their power. We strip them of their ability to make us uncomfortable, to 
tarnish and to mess with our growth and to prevent us from going and growing at the level of speed that God wants us to grow. We command every stagnant area in our life to receive the life of God, to receive divine water, to receive divine sunlight. We command that things that should be growing and are not growing will begin to grow now. We command stagnant places to bring forth, burst out and bring forth fruit and let the fruit remain in the name of Jesus. We speak to stagnancy and curse it, curse it, curse it. We curse the spirit of stagnancy. We curse the curse of stagnancy. We curse haphazard growth. There a little and there a little. We declare that there shall be a flow, a constant, consistent, ongoing flow that will put things on accelerated progress, accelerated levels of speed between 12 p.m. and 3 a.m. Between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. Everything that was said, every curse that was released is now destroyed, is now defeated. The enemy shall not work in darkness against us and shall not lose, use the light of day to do his evil. The sun shall not smite us by day. The moon shall not smite us by night. Everything programmed into the sun and the moon and the stars against us is now become null and void to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of God. Oh yes, let the poison that they swallowed be vomited out. Let the poison that they swallowed be vomited out. The food that was tampered with, let that be vomited out. We command demonic powers, demonic nests to come out of their stomach, come out of their chest, come out of their neck, come out of their reproductive organs, come out of their eyes, come out of their head, come out of their ears, come out of their nasal cavity, come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. We cast out demons now. We remove ourselves from every satanic bus stop. We will not be at a place where things are not going right. And let me say something. I saw uh, a person that's dressed in white, just in white. And then the same individual, the next minute, they turned around and their left arm was cut off from way on top of the shoulder. The left hand signifying the hand of weakness or the left hand signifying the person who is second in command, the person who is under your auspices, under your jurisdiction, Yaya Riri, the white symbolic of the house of God, the people of God, the holiness, Yaya. There's a, there's a minister that, that we know. And if prayer is not done, we'll lose his helper, his left hand. Could be his wife, could be his assistant pastor. So just make a note of that. God does not give us visions and flashes just because he wants to uh, you know, make us look impressive. We remove ourselves from every satanic bus stop. We will not be at a place that we are not supposed to be. Oh yes, every owner of evil loads that want to make us carry their evil loads and every place where we are carrying evil loads, everywhere and every place where we are taking on responsibility that does not belong to us, everywhere where we are trying to be cute and trying to be nice and trying to be helpful and going outside of the will of God, doing good things that have nothing to do with our destiny, I pray that we will not be carriers of any evil load, that whatever we are involved in, that whatever we are doing is what God wants us to do and that the blessing of God is on it and that we will not waste time, resources, and energy doing things that we are not called to do. We destroy every evil remote control, every power that is fashioned against us. Oh yes, let the Holy Ghost fire incubate our lives and protect us and deliver us from evil. We reverse every evil design, every evil design, every design that the enemy has designed and has programmed into our life and we are in lockstep, it would seem, walking like a man that doesn't know where he's going and we are in lockstep with the enemy's plan. Plan A has already happened, plan B has already happened and we are rushing on to plan C into our destruction. I stop the steps, I stop the steps. I reverse the curse. I command it to break all evil authorities upon your life. I command them to break all evil spirits that want to rule your life. I command them to break every place where the enemy has sunk his teeth into your life. I pluck them out from you in the name of Jesus. I remove your name from the book of backward steps to the glory of God. May the Lord make you a channel of blessing and make me a channel of blessing. I take up my weapon, the two-headed sword of the spirit, and I cut down the powers of witches and wizards. 
I cut down the power of familiar spirits and ancestral familiar spirit. I cut down the power of spirit wives and spirit husbands. I cut down the powers of spirit children. Every spiritual property that has been handed to me that does not belong to me and was not given to me by God. Every mermaid spirit, every place where manipulators are at work, where evil monitors are monitoring my progress to see how best they can thwart them. Every place where evil arrows have stuck and evil decisions have been made against me. I reverse them all in the name of Jesus. I speak a word of reversal. I reverse, I reverse, I reverse the works of witches and spirit wives. I reverse the works of spirit husbands and mermaid spirits. I reverse the works of manipulators and evil monitors. I reverse the work of evil arrows and evil decisions. I reverse the work of evil witches and wizards and warlocks and familiar spirits and ancestral familiar spirits and ancestral familiar type. I reverse their works and I declare that their works shall not work against you. I strip them of their power now. I strip them of their ability now. I strip them of their sting now. I strip them of their ability to hold on to you. I declare <coughs> that you have become greased up by the power of the Holy Spirit and no power shall be able to hold on to your life. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost come and burn the enemy. Let the sevenfold standard be raised against all of the enemies of the people of God. May the Lord use us as his battle axe, as his instrument of war. Let the angels of war be released on our behalf in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, we send fire against the works of the enemy. We declare that the stones of God will destroy the powers of darkness in the air, in the land, and in the sea to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, we bind up all anti-deliverance demons in every area of our life, every demonic power that does not want us to be delivered, that does not want freedom to come, that does not want liberty, for whom the Son has set free, set the scripture, is free indeed. May freedom come anyhow. May freedom come in spite of the enemy's well-laid works and well-done works and well-spoken words. May the, the captive, the deliberate captive who went into captivity with his eyes open wide, with her eyes open wide, and they walked the path of self-pity and agreed with the forces of darkness and picked up on a melancholic spirit. And then the enemy began to drag them into the dark place and drag them into the dark place back to where they were before. I command and demand that the light of Christ will break through, that the joy of the Lord will be their strength, that they will put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. They will put on the garment of praise. They'll begin to sing. They'll begin to dance. They'll begin to clap. They'll begin to walk. They'll begin to swim. They'll begin to do things that they have not done before. They'll begin to participate in things that make them laugh out loud, in things that make them have the joy of the Lord. And then they would notice that their strength has come back. Hey, 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 hey. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, we send the fire of the Lord against the works of hell. Every anti-miracle demon, every satanic cage that's trying to trap the people of God, we destroy satanic chains that are fashioned against our life. We refuse to be bound. We refuse to be stagnated. We refuse to be held in one place. Every satanic instrument that is against us shall be neutralized and nullified. We destroy all webs of the devil against our lives. Oh yes, we disconnect satanic linkages to anyone dead or alive. We disconnect satanic linkages. We will not be linked to people that are not going anywhere with God. We will not be linked to organizations that are not going anywhere with God. We will not be linked to people who want to pull us back, who want to use our gift or talent and our ability for their own little self-aggrandizement. Only thy kingdom come, only thy will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every satanic instrument that is working against us, we destroy them, we destroy them, we disconnect ourselves. We say let every spiritual instrument and equipment that is set against us be broken in pieces. We dash to pieces every spiritual instrument that has been assigned and has been designed against us. For the book has said, and we believe the book, that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. All spiritual mirrors used against us, all spiritual mirrors used to monitor us, we dash them to pieces now. We smash them. We destroy them. We defeat them. We destroy the protective covering of the enemy protecting them against the fire of the Holy Ghost. We cancel every careless word that we may have spoken or which Satan is now using against us. We destroy all satanic attachment 
to any of our properties in the name of Jesus. We destroy a, 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 anything that the enemy has placed on an evil altar and somehow it has found itself in our hands and on our property. We speak to the satanic images. We speak to demonic names. We speak to satanic money. We speak to demonic clothes. We speak to demonic pictures, demonic books, demonic fingernails, satanic hair, satanic false hair, satanic false butt, satanic false breasts, satanic false muscles. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against all curses issued against our future. All curses, hey, issued against our progress. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we separate ourselves from evil rivers, from evil idols, from evil streams, from evil shrines that are present in our place of birth and in the nation that we now live. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all agents that have gotten a hold of our blessing somehow, release them unto us now. Release my blessing, release it now. Release my healing, release it now. Release my victory, release it now. Release my ministry, release it now. Release my marriage, release it now. Release my children, release them now. Release my business, release it now. Release my sales, release my sales. Release my sales, release my sales, release my money that is held up, release it now. Evil happiness must go, evil understanding must go, evil communication must go, evil gathering must go. All that are fastened against me must be destroyed. I bless myself with the blessings of God that make it rich. I bless myself with perfect sight. I bless myself with the ability to discern. I bless myself with divine healing. I declare that my bones are fat and they function correctly, that my skin is anointed by the Lord, that my life and times are in the hands of God, that agents of poverty cannot hold me for one minute in the name of Jesus. I lose their hold from over my life. I declare that the agenda of the enemy to bring me in debt shall fall in pieces and fall like a deck of cards. Yes, all agents of spiritual rags will lose their hold over my life. I shall not be ragged. I shall not be tore up. I shall not fall to pieces. I am not the proverbial Humpty Dumpty. I shall be fit as a fiddle and strong as an ox. And like Jabez of old, and like Ahab the uh, Gideon of old, and like the patriarchs of old, in my old age, my natural forces, Caleb, shall not be abated. I shall be as strong in these years as I was in my 20s to the glory of God. Asia, agents of defeat will lose their hold. They will lose their grip. They will lose their grip. They will not defeat me. What defeated my mother shall not defeat me. What defeated my father shall not defeat me. What defeated my bloodline back in the day shall not be able to handle me. I cannot be handled. I'm too hot to handle. The fire of the Holy Ghost is all around me. Agents of demotion will begin to lose their grip. I shall not make retrograde backward steps. Agents of delay shall lose their grip in every area of my life in every area of my children's life, in every area of my wife's life, in every area of my grandchildren's life, agents of delay that put important things back to another time, back to another day. I break the power of delay. I break the power of delay. I break the power of delay. I break demonic delay. I break satanic delay. I break inherited delay. I break deliberate delay. I break delay. I break delay. I break delay. I break delay. Let agents of confusion lose their hold. Let agents of backward movement lose their grip. Let wicked oppressors stumble and fall in every area of my life. Let God break the teeth of the ungodly that is gathered against me. Let instruments of failure fashioned against my life receive the fire of God. Let satanic weapons of attack that are fashioned against me and my family, let them receive the fire of God. Let satanic computers fashioned against my life let them receive the fire of God. Let them be roasted in the fire of God. Let satanic records against me receive the fire of God. Receive the fire of God. Their satellites can't work. Their computers can't work. Their AI can't work. They cannot work against me. Satanic labels can't work. Satanic marks can't work. Satanic works can't rub. Everything that's rubbed on, everything that's, that was eaten, everything that was sat on, everything that was given, everything that was touched, everything, everything, everything anything, Hey, 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 hey. I come like a spiritual assassin with the weapons of my warfare, which are not carnal, but which are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. No stronghold shall stay in place after this prayer tonight. 
No stronghold shall maintain its, 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 its coherence. No stronghold shall maintain its ability to sustain itself and to hide. I declare that strongholds cannot hide. No octopus will be able to hide. The light of the glorious gospel of the kingdom is shining upon every octopus that has been hiding itself and camouflaging itself. I command the octopus to fall off from its hidden hiding place and to die in the name of Jesus. Everything that must die will die. Whatever has to die for me to get to my place of destiny and to my place of victory, whatever satanic demonic plot and ploy and work of stagnation that has to die, let it die, let it die, let it die in the name of Jesus. I command blessing, I command victory, I command deliverance, I speak healing, I speak success, I speak victory, I speak for the joy of the Lord, which is the strength of his people. I speak for the blood of Jesus to soak every soul. I speak for the drinking of the blood of Jesus to drive out every evil pattern and every evil work from among us. I speak blessing to the third and fourth generation forward and backwards to the glory of God. I repent on behalf of my ancestors for what they said, for what they did, for sacrifices they made, for altars that they built. I command their altars to catch a fire. I command their covenants to be nullified and to be made void. I make a covenant with the kingdom of God. I make a covenant with the king of the kingdom. I make a covenant with the Lord of hosts and declare that the angelic hosts are going to work now, right now. I dispatch every angel that has been with us from birth that they will go forth and make happen everything that the Lord God omnipotent wants to make happen in our life. I dispatch angels to go forth and do, bring my blessing, go forth and do it. Bring my joy, bring my hope, bring my peace. Go forth, get your sword, fight against the works of hell that are fighting against me. I declare that my angels are now on assignment, that your angels are now on assignment and they are working both to will and to do the good pleasure of God Almighty. And I declare over all the prayers that have been prayed, let God arise and let the enemy be scattered. Let God break the hex, break the vex, break the jinx, break the curse, break the spell, break the incantation, break the delay. Your life is about to go zoom. My life is about to go zoom. We are about to enter into another atmosphere, into another hemisphere, into another stratosphere, into a totally different dimension. Because the Lord has given us kingdom speed, kingdom speed, kingdom speed. I speak for the activation of kingdom speed in my life. I speak for the activation of kingdom speed in your life. I declare that your husband shall appear. I declare that your child shall appear. I declare that your ministry shall appear. I declare that your blessing shall appear. I declare that your business shall appear. I declare that your clients shall appear. I declare that your helpers shall appear. I declare that your divine helpers shall show themselves and shall begin to do in a short period of time what has not happened in years. I declare you shall not labor in vain. You shall not toil in vain. You shall not toil for less than, but the blessing that the Lord shall overtake you, shall run ahead of you, shall chase you and bring you down, shall tackle you in every place that you go and everywhere you turn to the left or the right. Blessings shall run you down. Blessings shall chase you down. Blessings shall be ahead of you. Blessings shall run behind you. Blessings shall be under you. Above you shall be the blessing. The angelic hosts that work with God to, to bless those of us who are heirs of salvation. I command them to go forth now, right now. Go, angel, standing next to the people that are watching this program and joining in and saying amen. Go now, go now, go now. And do all that the Almighty has sent you to do in their lives. Let your works be done in a hurry, in a, in a great rate of speed. Let God arise and let the enemy be scattered in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Let God's people say amen. Let God's people agree, say a sevenfold amen. 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 God. Well, what can I say? Thank you for your time. I just felt the quickening. I could hear the, well, I'm always saying I could hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. And then people get mad. Oh, there he goes again, like he's the only one. Anyway, I could hear the voice of the Holy Spirit say, no, not tonight. You take that prayer and you take it home. You take that, uh, that baton and you run through the tape. There will be other times when they'll be asked to pray. But I need the rod of apostolicity to dispatch and to release the angelic host to go forth. May the Lord cause success to come and become like a Siamese twin. May success stick to us like glue. 
and not go anywhere, but just want to be with us. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you for staying tonight. Thank you for your amens. Thank you for your prayers of agreement. Thank you for enduring when it looked like we weren't going to have a program tonight. The Lord bless Bassanio and uh, Apostle Gaspar for their commitment to getting this thing done, even when the tide didn't look too good and the times were lousy. The Lord bless them for their efforts and cause success to come to them. The Lord grant answers to their prayer and do for them what they want to get done sooner than at once and quicker than immediately. Blessings to everybody. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night, y'all. God bless. Good night, everyone. God bless. Good night. Good night, Apostle. Good night, God. Good, good night. night. Good night, Sister Angela. Good night, Sister Nandy. Good night. Good night, Apostle Gaspar and Apostle Sibu. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, one and all. Good night. Good night to one and all. God bless everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night, Apostle. Good night. Good night. Good night.